Steve Silberman from AudioQuest gave us some great tips on computer audio. There's a number of great ways you can connect your computer to your stereo. Um, the simplest way to do it is just using an analog cable. Pretty much every computer out there today has a headphone jack, so you can take advantage of that. You can simply just plug a mini 3.5 millimeter cable into your computer, and if you have one that has stereo RCAs on the other end, you're connected and you're up and running and you've got computer audio. If you want to do something that's a little bit more sophisticated, let's say that you have a surround sound receiver that has available digital inputs on it or you just purchased a new DAC. Um, you, with an Apple computer, uh, they typically have a toss link out so you can get one of these optical cables. It plugs into the same port as the headphone, overrides the headphone, and now you've got digital out. So you can send all the data that's stored either in your computer or on the external hard drive. You can send that digitally across to the receiver or to the DAC and have it decoded there. And that'll give you significantly higher resolution than just using the analog output. A lot of computers also come now with uh, an HDMI connection. HDMI is pretty much the standard for audio video connections in the, the home theater world. If you have a HDMI connection on your computer, you could simply take advantage of that. You could use the HDMI connection to go from the computer to the stereo. I would say this would give you equal performance to the Toslink. Not better, not worse, but, but pretty much equal. The trend, though, is moving towards USB. There's a number of products coming out that have digital USB inputs on them. And with the USB, you can simply connect on one of the USB ports, and you bring that to a DAC. And now you've got a transmission line between the computer and the DAC. These tend to offer the highest performance of all your different options. So beyond the, the different connections that are available, there's different quality cables. This is a pretty generic cable. It uses um, insulation or a dielectric that, that will have some interference. It also uses stranded wire, which has some interesting distortions and interactions. What we like to do at AudioQuest is we'll use wire that is solid core metal, so there's less distortion there, and we use a dielectric or an insulation that has very little interference. The other thing we'll do is we'll pay attention to the actual pins. How we plate the pins, whether they're plated with gold or they're plated with silver, will have a direct consequence on how good the cable sounds. If you have any questions on cables or computer audio, just give us a call.